Hey Taurus, some crystals for summer, rising Venus. We're going to find out what spirit wants you to know. Okay. If you guys came here for the title, that means I've mentioned that somewhere in my reading. That's probably what it's about. You have time to go. And to be fair, it's like you guys might be holding on to something or were holding on to something that you felt like wasn't fair. You could have felt like these roles were unfair. Things that were going on in life wasn't like really working out for you. And I feel like you're ready to go, okay? And with the milk and honey, it's like you're ready to go chase your dreams. You're ready to go be happy. Find your abundance in life, you know, and find the, you know, your own happiness. You have a leg up. So you have people that are coming through to help you, spirit, spirit animals. There's a lot of people, and you know, um... Coming in to help you. And like I said, this could be spirit. If it's not physical people, it's spirit that's coming in to help you. Push you towards your goals, towards your dreams. Towards milk and honey. Towards what you want and more, right? What you thought you could create for yourself and more. Okay, so for your current situation, you have the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. I feel like your pain in the past, you have let your pain make you stronger like instead of not let it but you your pain has made you stronger okay you are like really stepping up and like doing better for yourself no matter like the setbacks no matter whatever it is that's in the way it's like now you're so focused on yourself on your stability on your career um i feel like you guys are tired of being used and abused walked all over treated like a doormat here and i feel like you guys this could be at work this could be family this could be friends it could be lovers children it doesn't matter you guys are standing up now you guys are putting your foot down and i feel like you're very focused on not being hurt again um okay you're very focused on your career on your long-term stability you're focused on your future here okay with the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles this is long-term stability okay and with the nine of wands you're not letting that get in the way anymore maybe it did in the past this could have been like past issues that you've um dealt with that kind of led into your adult life but i feel like that's no longer a problem like i said you guys are moving forward um you may have had a problem making a decision or seeing things clearly, okay? You may have had a problem like um, trying to rebuild yourself and put things back together, putting yourself back together and heal. You could have been too focused on the things that, you know, hurt you. No longer anymore, though, like I said, okay? So in the past, it's like the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. It was a long time. You kept your, you could have kept yourself in a depression for a very long time. You could have kept yourself away from people, places, and things um, for a very long time, okay? But I feel like there could have been some type of counseling for some of you guys as well. I feel like you guys, um, that could have helped some of you. If not, you guys had some life lessons that has taught you guys a lot. And it's like you know the seeds that you guys are planting are going to grow. You know whatever work that you guys are doing at this moment is going to be something that uh will be fruitful in your future and that's why you guys are so focused on this knight of pentacles seven of pentacles ten of pentacles and king of pentacles you guys are taking the steps to guide you know i'm getting goosebumps as i'm saying this too it's like you're taking the steps to create a success oh my god successful future okay a lot of money too as well might be in this and it's like you guys have done everything you've learned everything or you are learning everything it's like you you want to know everything and every you know anything that you can in order to get yourself to where you want to be i feel like you guys don't even take a break okay in the future, you have a promotion coming. Something's moving fast, okay? You may also come up with something intuitively that you just, some type of ideas that help push you even more further, okay? I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands, this is a lot of spirit communication. This is all a lot of spiritual downloads. These are also like moving up in life. So if you guys are trying to get a raise or a promotion, it's like I do see that coming in for you. Maybe there's a new a change of career here as well. I do see that. It's like you guys are becoming more enlightened. I feel like I'm here and you're becoming more light. So this might be um, saying that you guys are getting rid of like any extra shit that was weighing you guys down and keeping you from being able to move forward. It's like now you guys are not allowing like, you know, the mental stress or the shit that you've been through in the past be anything that affects you now. Totally focus on the future. Only looking forward too. All these cards are looking forward. This one, this one, this one, this one's looking down, but he's looking at this dude that's doing all the work looking for it so it's like you're no longer focused on the past fuck the past right it was too hurtful you felt stuck um you could have also been like drowning in your emotions feeling like you didn't have anybody or you know i feel like you kind of found i heard you found yourself so you found yourself through the struggles um the ace of cups okay so you're very given very loving i feel like you have a very loving and um nurturing energy that uh attracts in a lot of people okay 
You may also feel like you have been through the ringer, but you're done with the drama. It's like no longer feeding in the drama, no longer doing things for other people if you don't want to do them. It's like you're standing up for yourself now. You're not backing down. I feel like you're loving yourself more. And because you're loving yourself more, you're attracting a lot more you know, good things into your life, your your vibration is rising, okay, it's like you're more balanced now, things are starting to work out way more better, and if it's not now, as soon will be, but I feel like you're a very fair person, you're somebody that likes to, because you've had a lot of unfair injustice here, and you see yourself as to be fair, you're non-judgmental, you know, it's like, you always want other people to do better. I feel like you're always wondering why can't people be like you, but it's like, don't worry about other people. Just focus on yourself. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're no longer worried about that shit. I know I said that like 20,000 times, right? Other people see you as very giving and caring and loving and very equal. <laughs> other people see you as equal too. So they know like you show people who you are. Okay. And they feel like you help up, you help them, you help out a lot of people with advice too. It's like you help them um, with their problems. You're a leader. Other people see you as a leader. You might be a teacher, a healer, a guide, um, a pastor, a nurse, somebody who helps out other people. And you don't even have to be doing any of those things. I'm hearing justice. So maybe even justice with the justice card too. I just thought of that. Maybe you guys work for the justice system, King of Pentacles. Yeah. But so let's see your actions and advice. Here's the six of cups. Make better memories. OK. And, you know, think of from the past. When you think about the past, think of good things. Don't think of the negative things that put you in a you know sad place. Don't do that. Try to think of the good things. And if there aren't any good things to think of, start creating them. So them for yourself. OK. And the outcome is the strength card. Damn, you guys are gaining your strength through this. You guys are moving forward. You guys are not looking back. Like, look, like moving forward, not looking back. Like, fuck that shit. She's like, see ya. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. Go the other way. Um, the two of wands and the page of pentacles. You guys are making plans here. You have a lot of pentacles. You might have a lot of money coming in and you have the devil here too. Okay. So I'm going to clarify the devil. You might be dealing with Capricorn, um, Libra, Taurus, Strong Taurus, Pisces too. The Seven of Cups. <clears throat> the Temperance and the Nine of Cups. You guys, whatever you're leaving behind was something that was very toxic for you. Okay, this could have been childhood, relationships, abusive people, um, mentally, mentally, physically, emotionally abusive people towards you, whatever this is, you're moving on from it, you're doing better, and I feel like you're wondering, like, am I making the right choice, but yes, you are, this is going to bring a lot of healing, you're going to feel free, you're not going to feel stuck anymore, you're going to get what it is that you're wishing for, this is like, like your wishes being granted, look, if you guys are trying to work for, like, the public, or in the public eye, or something like that, you have a lot of support coming in for you, okay, and you guys might be, like, a star, an actor, a singer, um, model, doing something in the public eye, you guys are definitely definitely moving up and I feel like a lot of people are going to be seeing what you're doing um and I feel like you are somebody that deserves it because you're always looking after other people you look after yourself less than you look for look out for other people but I feel like what you're doing now is you're changing that and I just seen the queen of pentacles and you have the king of pentacles here too as well so there might be a business partnership coming in here or maybe some type of contract that you guys are going to have to sign um, I definitely feel like you guys are trying to do things differently here. And because you're doing things differently here, you're about to get a whole bunch of new results, right? But the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, this could be um, a divine counterpart coming in as well. But um, yeah, the Four of Swords, that could be somebody that you're in separation from. The Eight of Swords, what's to come of that? Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands. Wow, this could be a twin flame that you're in separation from, that you're kind of stressed out. Um, there could have been some type of drama in the way of this or no really, um, not really much good communication, some cold heartedness, but yeah, this person has been back and forth in your life. Um, so I do feel like what's to come of that. It's like you had the four of wands and, uh, the king of swords, the queen of wands and the eight of swords. There, there's definitely going to be a reunion here with your twin flame or with somebody from the past that you're in separation from that, um, you know. But with the judgment in reverse, there might not be a decision made right away. Okay, so the outcome. 
the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Somebody might be moving forward. This doesn't have to be a twin flame. This could be an old person that's coming back. This could be this devil energy that's coming back to try to tempt you. Okay? You might have been married to this person or you've been with them for a long time. Okay? There was definitely a strong connection. Um, hmm. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. This person may have many other suitors, okay? I feel like you're working too hard on yourself. You're moving up all the way over here. You don't want this person to come in and make you fall all the way back down. You're doing good for yourself. Don't look back, okay? So, one second. So, since you have a lot of career stuff in this reading, I'm going to use my career cards and see what else Spirit wants you guys to know. Gaia, trust that the universe has a better plan than you do. So if you guys are feeling lost or maybe you feel like things are not really going to work out or maybe like, like I said earlier, it's like you're going to get something better and even more. I feel like that's how you guys are going to get or what you guys are going to get. Okay, so you guys might like work with like, you know, with nature in some type of way, with spirit, okay? You have protecting the planet, herbalism, or working with nature in some type of way, or animals. Um, I feel like you guys do a lot of work for other people. Like I said, you guys might be a healer or something like this, or a nurse. Um, it says spend time with nature to be healed, soothed, and regroup. So if you guys are feeling like you guys um, need some healing, um, spirit is telling you to go spend some time in nature. It'll help you, okay? And you have phoenix. They couldn't stop you, and you're coming back stronger. So whoever it was that was trying to stop you, hold you back, pull you in temptation, make you, um, keep you from your dreams, okay? They are, uh, the angels in spirit is pushing this person back. I can literally see like this, like this, pushing them back, okay? This is all a test of strength, pushing you beyond your comfort zone, and your outcome is the strength card. So don't worry. You guys are going to be totally fine. Um, you have your going through the dark night or the soul. Be gentle with yourself. You have yes or no, undecided, dealing with fluctuation, goals, and or income. So make sure you guys know exactly what it is that you guys want to do. Your head and your heart have to be at the same place. If not, you're not going to really feel like you're trusting your decisions here, okay? So it's important to stay informed on the shifts that are occurring and uh, make decisions only when you're 100% ready to or in 100% in agreement, in alignment, like knowing that this is going to be something that you want to do. Don't say yes to something that you're not sure of. Okay. And you might see the world on the negative part of this card. It says seeing the world in black and white, which limits a possible, which limits what's possible for you and sports. You have collaborate or work as a team to boost your finances, coach, athletic trainer, athlete, or anybody that's in the sports industry and have more fun and build new connections to grow your career. And then you have mechanics. So some of you guys might work on cars or you guys are really good at fixing things, people, right? It's like you guys um, can fix anything. I feel like you guys are fixers. So I guess I'm going to do like a love reading because we have so much time left. Alrighty, so we're going to do love, see what's coming in. Future love, future true love, okay? So we're going to find out who's your true love. So, who's this true love of yours? Ace of Wands. I just seen Ace of Cups when I was just shuffling. So, this is definitely a brand new energy or a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. Okay? I do see the devil on the bottom of the deck. Just make sure you guys are paying attention to red flags and don't fall for temptation or lust or anything like that. Take your time and make sure you're feeling good about the person that you're dealing with. And take your time because in time you will feel um, what's you're supposed to feel and pay attention to that don't ignore that shit okay so will the attraction be instant the seven of swords and the emperor um maybe but somebody might be intimidated by the other okay because like the seven of swords and the emperor clarify the seven of swords the page of cups in reverse and the hierophant aries taurus I feel like you guys will feel spiritually connected to each other, but physical attraction, I feel like this person may be different than what you're used to, but I feel like that might end up being a good thing for you. Um, okay, 
So maybe you need to get stuff out of your box and, you know, meet people that are different than what you were used to because maybe you might end up meeting somebody that actually treats you, you know, like you're supposed to be, right? You have what's the, what will this person be like? The Four of Pentacles. Um, this person's very reliable, very sturdy, okay? You got the Emperor and the Empress, which is divine counterparts. That's the mother and the father of the deck. So these, this is definitely a divine counterpart, okay? But I don't know if you guys are going to be attracted to each other right away, but your souls are going to be attracted to each other, okay? So when are you going to meet this person? So this person is going to be worth you investing your time into, okay, and opening up to. Somebody's not going to want to open up right away, though. Um, the chariot and the hermit. This person is a healed person. This person also has a small group of friends. They don't have like large groups. They like they may stay home a lot. They may either work a lot or stay and stay home a lot. Right? The chariot. This person is somebody that has a lot of love, very caring, very sense, you know, sentimental, very reliable too as well. With the emperor, you guys may end up having children in the future. And when will you meet? The fool and the eight of wands in reverse. So the eight of wands. For timing, eight weeks, eight months. And with the full, I feel like you guys, um, this might be something that happens pretty quickly. It kind of grows pretty quickly. But I feel like you guys might meet each other. It might be kind of like something that's like off guard a little bit here. But this is going to be something that you've wished for. And you're going to see in time that this is the person you've been asking for. So anyway, I hope this helps. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Toodles.